Find the cat in the roller coasters. So, yeah, th I need more space. Uh, you see our little tiny roller coasters back there. <laughs> uh, Coaster Dynamics, Charlie Loves. Uh, that one, which is, oh, that Navita Fred, that's Montu, that's Frankenstein, that's the Lego one, and that one is the Viper something? I can't remember. I already forgot the name of it, but he broke it. He broke a pole, but he always loves getting in that thing. But they might be bricks has been working on a massive one. This one's actually taller than what the Fiery Fist of Pain was. It's got this one big loop. I don't know what he's going to do further with this, but I just thought I would show that to you right now. I'm about to work on some BrickLink stuff and clean up some other messes. So, yeah, he's he's going to run out of supports. Uh, he's thinking about, I told him, I said, maybe you should take out some of the middle supports and not have supports like every um, thing, like take out every third one. Uh, perhaps, I don't know, because, yeah, we're going through them pretty fast. <laughs> but it's pretty tall. What do you think, Charlie? Do you like it? Are you saying leave me alone? You want me to go away? Uh, so I'm about to pick some orders. Uh, give Mrs. Brickzar a break. So I've actually, I used to have parts in these containers here, these trays. There'll be one part per thing, and there's 19. There were 19 compartments. I had 28 trays. Whatever 28 times 19 is, that's how many parts, different elements were in there. They're all gone now. They've been sold or are moved to. Uh, the drawers and I still got a whole bunch of empty drawers because everybody keeps buying which is great I got some random parts these are lost elements or parts we find that are in the wrong drawer I got to find them put them in their proper home uh, that's why those parts are there and then I want to get rid of this little brown container here uh, it was another one of my overflows it has sometimes multiple parts in a drawer so I'm going to take all these parts out and put them in some of those and then I'll have more free space here on the table, but I'm going to be picking an order here. Uh, I didn't intend to do a Pablo. -y. Uh, but this is, uh, let's see, bricks to grow on. It's going to be a pretty easy one. And the, he actually got this for the kids. Let me go back. I'm going to look at his message. So there's only a few different lots. And he says, hey, Jabbo, new customer here. Absolutely enjoy your YouTube channel. I am in the process of setting up a BrickLink store. He's got 11 feedback, so he should be able to do that. It says, this, was order, this order was selected by my four kids, Eli, Leela, Colby, and Clara. And I'm going to include a signed brick with him uh, for this. And he asked for Pablo, but as a reminder, I'm not doing Pablos right now um, as I do one. But this one's so simple. Uh, uh, just six different items, so I'm going to do it. And, uh, and keeping these things, uh, the Pablo videos have gotten more challenging because we've had a lot of um, orders. Now, this is actually from one of the advent calendars. It's a sealed bag. I didn't have the card that went with that. But yeah, since we've had so many orders, it's getting hard for me to keep up with. And sometimes I'll pick an order and I'm like, somebody wanted the Pablo? And I can't remember who it was, when it was. Um, but I did do one as a story on my um, story page on youtube so uh, that well this is not jar jar binks this is the other guy it's sealed in the bag hey uh y'all should try oh you can't you gotta get his head i say you could symbol this while he's in the bag you gotta figure out how to get his head out of that one without tearing this that could be a challenge uh build in the bag also try to build this one in the bag mike see if your kid can build that of course it doesn't have the the card but you can Look at the picture online to build that one. I did note there in the description that it didn't have the card. 4436. It's another one that's in a bag. A battle droid. This one's a smaller bag. So try to assemble that battle droid without taking him out of the bag. That's your challenge. <laughs> uh, next one is in a box. Now these... Um, are all separate so what I do is usually when I get these I then put them in a bag because sometimes people will buy more than one 
So we put those in a little bag, which I'm going to have to free up a hand to do that. Next up is gray... Wait a minute. Hmm. I already forgot where it was. <laughs> Let me look on here. It's gray G1. Gray G1. G E F G. Got one of these sealed hedgehog thingies. The last thing is yellow H2. Looks like a Y wing of sorts there. I think it's Anakin's Y wing. So that's the whole order. I'm going to bag this up. All right, so their package is ready to go. Thank you for the order, Mike, and also uh, your kids. I really appreciate it. See if y'all can build those things in the bag. I don't know if you can build you probably Well, you definitely can't build the hedgehog thing in the bag. <laughs> We're going to do a lost mail, mail time. This is a, a haul, basically. This is something I got from eBay. It actually came a little faster than I was expecting, but again, because it's a letter. And this came from Europe. But this is reproduction stickers of the stickers that are in sets 261, 262, and 263. It says 262 on there, uh, but the sticker sheet is virtually identical. And so they're very similar to, also to the, um, the originals, and they got the white. Uh, the texture might be a little different, but they're pre-cut. So I ordered two sets of these, and these are what I'll use as, to me, for instance, this is for my personal collection. I don't mind using these. So as I get the rest of the parts for set 262, I'll have some stickers that I can apply. And i got to empty out one of the containers. I'm going to put all this um, Galador stuff in one container. One of the big heavy-duty containers should hold this, but i got to take other stuff out of it. I think it... You know what? It might not actually... These might be too big. Oh, yeah. They're probably going to be too big. So I'm going to be watching my own video. <laughs> Let me pause that. Uh, this is the the podcast, which up uploaded Monday, but I'm filming this on Sunday, picking three orders. i got to listen to it. There's a video we referenced uh, towards the end. I want to put a link to it, and there might be some other places that I'll put a link, and I might see if i got any glaring mistakes, uh, which I'll probably just ignore and not fix because uh, sometimes if I say something I, I, I think oh maybe I shouldn't have said that I can clip it out of the video <laughs> even after it's been uploaded and I've had had to do that um, sometimes but uh, I'm just going to listen to it see how it sounds and of course you'll be watching this video long after this one's been published uh, but I, I learned one thing that made me kind of sad there's a, the video that we reference is one of his old videos when he was young and uh, YouTube has disabled the comments on it because he was young uh, so as yeah, that's that's sad to me. But uh, he he's got comments on his more recent videos, which is fine. So I was about to do another order, and I opened his back up because I realized I forgot to put the signed brick in there. Oh boy! Not the first time that's happened. So taped it back up. Here's another order for somebody, uh, Griffin. He's actually making his logo, he said. Uh, they, uh, just a really neat order with the translucent colors and the bright light blue. Also helped me catch a mistake. I had this listed in a box that it wasn't in, so I had to correct that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these won't fit in the container. Just seems like too much volume. <sighs> maybe I sh Well, maybe I can try to fit them in there and take out the duplicates. I don't believe it. I actually got them all in there. <laughs> ah, nice. Don't know if I got room for the um, the used ones, so I'll probably put those in a separate box. But oh, I'm pleased. Hey, I, th I thought I'd talk to you a minute. Um, just thinking down here while I've been working in the basement. I have a nice little streak going as far as uploading a video every day here on Brigzar. I have another channel, uh, uh, most of you should be aware of it if you watch this one, that I have another channel called Trains Are Fun, and this table has been featured prominently in it. This table was in the very first day of uploads that I ever did to YouTube, and it's been highly neglected. And it's really a weird thing. I mean, I love trains, I love Lego, a lot of these things I got because I'm making uh, the Brick Model Railroader versions of these. In fact, this train that's on here right now 
is I'm, I have Lego versions of built and the, the locomotive that's way over there that you can't see right now uh, it's going to be a Lego version of that too that's looking forward to being able to do that and then I got other things that I like uh, this is the central of Georgia but the reason I'm talking is I've just I've I have not been able to make videos for Trains Are Fun. It's not because I don't have time to. <laughs> it's because I sit down and I'm like, I just want to make a Lego video. Just going to make a Lego video. It'll be easier. Um, and sometimes the motivation to do the Trains Are videos isn't there. And I've neglected the channel. In fact, the channel still gets probably ten times the views that Brigzar gets. Even though I'm, I've posted maybe two or three videos a month here, here recently. And I need to really do more with it. But I, I can't, I can't, I just, um, I don't know. It's like um, when... I didn't push through, like I normally push through challenges and setbacks and I, I've, I got really discouraged a few years back and then with all the cop of garbage uh, it's further uh, discouraging. A lot of the videos on Trains Are Fun are still marked for kids but I felt like I had been betrayed by YouTube with that channel because they did basically not force me but they strongly encouraged me to do my videos more for kids and I should have just made them the way I wanted to uh, from the beginning I wanted it to be about trains I didn't create the channel as a kids channel I knew that I would talk about things like Thomas and Friends I knew that there would be things that would be that would appeal to kids but it was never supposed to be a Thomas and Friends channel and I fact. I had to tell sometimes people in the comments because they would get mad at me, uh, relatively speaking, for a comment. But they they would say, "Why why why aren't you doing more Thomas stuff? I don't like this. Do Thomas instead." And I was like, "This isn't a Thomas and Friends channel." And over time, I've just gotten discouraged. But um, just thought I'd mention that here uh, because I can't really talk about this on that channel right now. But I, I hope to get the motivation back to do more train videos but this may be odd to people it's like if you you got multiple channels you know have multiple channels well, why not focus on the channel that's doing the best and I just yeah I've just been focused on doing Lego videos and yeah I want to do more train videos <laughs> uh, so let me know what you think um, do you ever feel this way like you know you should do something, but you still do something else instead. It, maybe it's a procrastination problem. <laughs> like, I should be doing my taxes. Uh, they pushed them back to July 15th, and here it is. I'm filming this on June 21st. I don't know when this will be uploaded. Hopefully by the time this video is uploaded, I've started my taxes. But anyway, that's uh, what I what's on Brickzar's mind here. And i got to go back and start doing something more productive than pining away about this old channel trains are fun thanks for watching be sure to subscribe see you in the next video well at least i finally got the table cleared off maybe i should put the trains on here